Welcome to Dr. RK's classes. Today, I am going to discuss how to integrate board examination with a competitive examination like NEET or JEE. Even though the syllabus of JEE or NEET is same as that of board examination, in board examination, the main concentration is on definitions, principles, derivation of formulae and simple applications. Whereas in JEE NEET, the main focus is on the applications of fundamental concepts, formulas and problems related to multiple concepts. Today, I am going to take a relation between electric field and potential. In board examination, they ask, derive the relation between field and potential. Let us discuss what are the steps we have to follow in board examination and how this relation is used in complete examination like NEET or JE. Let us derive the relation between electric field and electric potential and we will see what are the steps you have to follow in derivation. Consider two equipotential surfaces A and B separated by distance dr that is this dr with potentials V and V plus dV. The difference in potential is dV. We know that work done in moving a unit positive charge from surface A to B is EDR where E is electric field, electric field is force experienced per unit charge, force into displacement is work. So this work is equal to potential difference by definition. So E into dr is Va minus Vb and if we substitute Va and Vb values, we will get electric field E is equal to minus dv by dr that is negative gradient of potential is electric so here the two important points are the negative sign indicates the negative sign indicates in the direction of electric field potential decreases and the gradient of potential that is dv by dr is equal to the strength of the electric field the strength of the electric field and electric field is always normal to the equipotential surface okay. this same equation we can also write dv is equal to minus e dot dr or dv is equal to minus e dr cos theta where theta is angle between electric field vector and dr vector okay so we can write va minus vb is equal to e dr cos theta now let us see how the questions are asked on the relation between the field and potential in je or heat examination okay so field is a negative gradient of potential. So negative sign indicates in the direction of field potential goes on decrease. Okay. How the questions are set based on this relation. So look at this problem where the electric field electric field E is equal to 30 x square I cap. So that is I cap is unit vector along x axis exists in space you have to find the potential difference between the two points. So one is at origin, that is V0 is the potential at the origin, VA is the potential at X is equal to 2 meters. So we know that, we know that electric field is a negative gradient of potential, negative gradient of potential. So the electric field is given as 30 x square i cap. So you have to find potential difference. So the potential difference dv is equal to minus e dx. Okay. So integrate on both sides, integrate on both sides by substituting the e value. We will get va minus v naught is minus 80 volts. That is integral of x square dx is x cube by 3 and substitute the limits you will get potential difference. Okay. So <clears throat> look at the second problem where here the potential is given as a function of x. Okay. You have to find the electric field at x is equal to 4 micrometers. Okay. So it is the reverse case of the previous one. So we know that electric field is a gradient of potential in three dimension okay? it is 
e is equal to minus dv by dx that is dou v by dx partial differentiation i cap minus dou v by dou y j cap dou v by dou z k cap so here this is the x component of electric field y component of electric field and z component of electric field so since potentially the function of x will take the x component of electric field is dv by dx so where v is given as 20 by x square minus 4 so if i differentiate that i will get ex as 40x by x square minus 4 whole square where x is 4 micrometers given, from that you will find ex, which is 10 by 9 volt per micrometer. So, look at this problem where the electric field is directed at an angle 30 degrees with positive x axis as shown in figure, that is here. And OA is 2 meters, that is OA here, over here is the OA. So, you have to find the potential difference between O and A. Okay. So, we know that negative gradient of poten potential is field or you can write potential difference dV is equal to minus E dot dr. Here, E and dr are in different directions. Then, the potential difference can be written as Va minus V naught is minus E dr cos theta here e is given as e here is given as 100 volt per meter and the magnitude of dr is given as 2 meter and cos theta, theta where theta is this angle this angle that is 180 minus 30 degrees 180 minus 30 degrees so if i substitute the values i will get va minus v naught is 100 root 3 or V naught minus V A is minus 100 root 3 volts. So, look at this, this problem. This is little bit slightly difficult when compared to the previous problems where the potential as a function of distance is given. That is pi is equal to here pi is the potential, electric potential. Pi is equal to A R square plus B where a and B are constants, R is the distance from the center, you have to find the charge density, that is charge per unit volume, the char charge per unit volume, that is the definition of charge density. So we know that the electric field is a negative gradient of potential, since potential as a function of R is given. If I differentiate this, I will get electric field is equal to minus 2AR. But according to Gauss theorem, the total flux passing through a closed surface is 1 by epsilon naught times the charge enclosed. Here the surface is spherical. The area is 4 pi r square. So E into 4 pi r square is equal to Q by epsilon naught. If I substitute the value here, I will get the charge as a function of R. That is minus 8 pi epsilon naught AR cube. That is the charge. Okay. And also we know that volume of the cube is 4 by 3 pi R cube. So dV by dr is 4 pi R square. Now I will define I will define charge density as d cube by dt, uh, d cube by dv, sorry. Okay. The amount of charge per unit volume that is this one. Okay. I can divide this dq by dv into as dq by dr into dr by dv. dr by dv. So I know dv by dr from expression. I know d, I can differentiate this q value with respect to r. So if you substitute the both, I will get the charge density as minus 6a epsilon naught. So look at this problem where the electric potential decreases uniformly from 120 volts to 80 volts as you move from x is equal to minus 1 centimeter to x is equal to plus 1 centimeter you have to find the electric field at the origin. Okay. 
so as usual we know that dv is equal to minus e dr or here dr is dx cos theta dv is given as 40 volts 40 volts 120 minus 80 of course decreases dx is 2 centimeter okay so now this e cos theta value is 20 volts per centimeter so depending on the theta value so if theta is equal to 0 e is equal to 20 volts per centimeter so it may be equal so if suppose theta is equal to 60 cos 60 is half then e may be greater than 20 volts per centimeter so look at in this problem where the slightly different aspect is given some equipotential surfaces are shown in figure that is equipotential these are the equipotential surfaces okay we have to predict about the magnitude and direction of electric field <coughs> so we know that from the theory or from the earlier concept electric field is perpendicular to equipotential surface that is at 90 degrees okay that means the angle between e and dr is 90 plus 30 so or you can see this in this diagram in this diagram so dv is equal to e dr cos theta here dv is 10 volts you have to find e dr is 10 centimeters and cos 90 plus 30 is sin 30 sin 30 is half so electric field is 2 volt per centimeter its direction is making an angle 120 degrees with x axis please subscribe for more videos for any doubts please whatsapp to my number 9849138961 thank you